Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use calculation groups to give you the ability to pause and resume measures when you're designing and setting up your report filters. This is especially helpful when one of your tables, or more of your tables, are in direct query mode against very big tables in the back end. So that means that queries can often take a long time. And when you have lots of slices and lots of visuals, you can start to saturate your back end system. So ideally what we well, what we might like is to have an apply resume or pause resume button on the canvas or in a filter that allows you to make your adjustments quickly without sending any backend queries to the to the data source until you're ready and then finally when you have everything set up you can click and apply all or resume button and uh, and you can start seeing your results. The model I'm showing you here today is a very simple star schema um, but the table I want to call out to you is this middle events table. Uh, so this is a very large table, 12 billion rows, and it's sitting in a uh, Synapse DW back end, which I have scaled right back to, to, uh, to emphasise the effect. And all of the other tables are just dual mode um, uh, dimension tables. Let's have a look at the report canvas. Now I have my performance analyzer on here, and I have four slices pre-prepared on the left hand side. I want to highlight that I have just two simple measures on my fact table. One is called sum of quantity and the other is called sum of quantity last year. If we have a look at these, they're just simply doing a sum of a, of, of a numeric column in my fact table. The other measure is just doing exactly the same but over a different column. So let's drag these measures to the canvas and see how it performs. Um, so I'm going to drag the sum of quantity onto a KPI this is relatively quick because uh, this is cached. Now I'm going to change the slicer setting to try and beat the cache. And we can, you can start seeing the spinnies go around and it, it takes a couple of seconds. This isn't too bad because we've got a pretty good back end system, even though it is scaled back. I'm going to drag the sum of quantity onto last year onto a different KPI. And while that's happening, what I want to do is drag the first day of month into my line chart and we'll click these two visuals. Okay, so it's taking some time. Now let's say I want to change my slices uh, to be perhaps a different here. And we get the spinnies. And if I have a, a more visuals, this is going to compound on the back end. Uh, and, and I might have a situation where the end user wants to come in and maybe take their time to make selections here, but every time they make a selection they don't want to have to send uh, back in queries um, to just slow things right down. So let's add a apply all, freeze or apply button up here using calculation groups. So to do that what we need to do is uh, add a calculation group to the model and I am going to open tabular editor which is a third party community tool. Hopefully you've got this already installed. And once this opens, I should be connected to this Power BI model. I want to add a new calculation group. This You can call it whatever you like, but let's call it the Apply uh, Measures Calculation Group. And here I'm going to right click on Calculation Items and we'll call Apply Now. And in the Expression Editor, for the apply now calculation item, we're just going to say selected measure, nothing else. Then we're going to add a second calculation item, which we'll call freeze. And the DAX expression for this should just simply be blank, which you can hopefully see in the top corner there. So apply now is selected measure, freeze is blank, and that's it. We can save the calculation group back to the model. So if we jump back to Power BI, what we should see now is a new entry in the fields list called Apply Measures. This is working on it. Wonderful. Now I can drag the calculation item to the canvas and I like to maybe make this a slicer. And I'm going to say let's make it single select and we'll turn it into a horizontal button. And lastly, let's turn off the background so that this will, uh, there's a title here, cool. And we can pop this anywhere we like. So apply now and freeze. 
what this means now, when I select the freeze option, all explicit measures will return blank. That means I can make changes here and it does very little. It's very fast. Maybe make the year something different again. And I can make, I can uh, arrange these, add more visuals, add fields to, 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 to visuals. And each time I'm doing that, nothing is happening. In fact, what we'll do is we'll add the um, sum of calculation group to this one again. And we'll add that three or four more times. Nothing is happening. Now, when we're ready, we just need to hit the apply now button. And that's the point that the queries will get sent to the back end system and they'll take as long as they take to, to, to return the values that make sense for your selection. If you don't want the apply and freeze button on the canvas, then the um, uh, other option that you have is to put it into the filter panel, which is a little more hidden, but it's tidier. The advantage to, of putting it here is that you can apply the filter to all pages. So we can just simply drop that on, hit the require single selection, and when we choose freeze, any action across any of the report pages that use explicit measures, like these here, will just return nothing until you're ready to uh, apply now, in which case you get your results. So hopefully you find that useful and easy to follow. You will need Tabular Editor, but hopefully you've got that for other good reasons anyway. Please let me know what you think of this in the comment section of the blog. And um, uh, thank you for watching.